I just had a buyer buy multiple items for me and I wanted to combine shipping for them. So I thought I'd run through this process with you guys. I'm here on eBay's customer service page on their article offering combined shipping. I'll leave a link to this article in the description box below. It takes about two minutes to read. I recommend you guys read the whole thing, but I'll just go over an overview of a couple things here. So you can combine shipping after a buyer pays, or you can also set it up to where a buyer can choose to combine shipping before they pay. So I'm going to go over that first. If we scroll down a little bit here to the section, how to combine shipping fees if a buyer hasn't paid yet. I'm going to read this real quick. If a buyer is purchasing multiple items from you and they haven't already benefited from a shipping discount, they can select request total from seller in their shopping cart. You can then send them an invoice with a new combined shipping cost if you have combined invoices enabled on your account. Here's how. So we're going to first go to manage shipping settings and click the edit button. Then we're going to select the time period in which we'd be willing to combine shipping and, and hit save. So I'm just going to open this link in a new tab. So I'm going to be looking at the middle here until I find combined payments. And I'm going to hit edit next to this. Accept combined payments. Allow buyers to send one combined payment for all items purchased. So I would need to select that box. And then I need to select the time period that I want this to be available. I'm going to select 30 days. I can also read more information about this here. Buyers can pay for multiple items at the same time with one payment when they check out. You must accept combined payments to offer shipping discounts. Combined shipping discounts apply only to items listed in the currency you select. If you, if you offer a shipping discount for additional items, changing the currency does not change the amount charged. So that's what I want to set it as for now, and I'm going to hit save. So now I think it should be an option available for a buyer to combine shipping when they purchase multiple items for me. I'm going to go back to the previous page on the customer service page. So then you can issue a combined invoice to your buyer. To do this from my eBay, you're going to go to the sold section. Again, you can just hit these hyperlinks in this article that I'm going to have in the description box. So I would go to the sold section. I'll open this in a new tab. And here are the two items that I sold to the same buyer. If the buyer hadn't already paid for shipping, I think I'd be able to select these and then follow the other steps on the previous page of adding a new shipping charge and then sending the invoice from the actions menu. I'm sorry I can't show this to you guys because the buyer did already pay, but you can follow these steps here on this list. And the same thing if you're going from the seller hub instead of the My eBay page you'd follow that link and follow those steps. There's also a tip here I'm going to point out. You can create rules to automatically offer shipping discounts for your buyers. Find out how in our shipping discounts article. So that's something else you guys can read. If you want an in-depth video about that, please let me know in the comments below. So we're gonna scroll down here to, to combining postage fees after the buyer paid. And that's my case. The buyer's already paid. They paid for two separate shipping labels and I want to combine them into one. So what do I do? So if the buyer's already paid, it's as simple as offering them a refund for the difference. So if you're an eBay managed payment seller like I am, I could just go to my orders tab to resend this partial refund. If you're going through PayPal, you're going to want to follow these steps here. I'm going to just cover the part in this video with the managed payments program because that is how I'm going to be combining this person's order. So I'm going to go to the My Orders tab. I'll just use our hyperlink right here. So that took me to the Start Using Seller Hub tab, and I do not want to start using Seller Hub. I have a video about how to get out of Seller Hub. It's really confusing. So I'm going to do this a different way. I'm going to go up to My eBay and go to Selling. Then I'm going to go to My Sold Items. And then I'm going to choose one of these jeans to send the partial refund through. The buyer paid $8.55 for shipping on both jeans, so I'm going to send an $8.55 refund. So over here on the right, by view order details, I'm going to hit the drop down arrow. I'm going to select send refund. Now I'm going to select the reason for the refund. It's a shipping discount for me. I'm going to send a note to the buyer. So that note's going to say, here's a partial refund since I was able to combine shipping. Hope to do business with you again, thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down here. So the buyer paid $13.55. I want to refund them $8.55 for the shipping. And then I can come down here. I can always cancel, but I'm going to click Review Refund. And then here's my note to buyer, the refund total, the amount you owe. And then a note from eBay about how I'm going to be charged for this refund. And I'm going to send refund. Your refund has been initiated. Once we're done processing it, you will get an email explaining how we'll recover these refunds from you. So that's how I was able to combine shipping. Now I can put both jeans into one package for my buyer. They only had to pay half price, but because they had already paid for it, I needed to send it back in a partial refund. So real quick, I'm going to go back to that customer service page that I have linked in the description box. And I'm going to go over the last section here, shipping combined orders. Once the buyer has completed payment, you can create a shipping label from one of the orders and upload the tracking number for all of the items in the new combined order. So you're going to only print one shipping label now. Make sure you add the weight of the additional item into that shipping label. And once that shipping label is created, you can copy the tracking number and paste it into the other item that you did not create the shipping label on. So if I'm back here on my, my sold page and I'm over at the drop down arrow by the view order details, I can hit mark as shipped. And then I can click add tracking number. And I'm going to just paste in that tracking number here and add the carrier and hit save. Now I still need to print the shipping label for the jeans so I don't have the tracking number yet, but that is how you do that. Please let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. Now I do not work for eBay, so the answers that I give you are just based on my own experience. And sometimes I do not know the answer and I do not have the best answer, but if you ask your questions in the comments below, someone watching this video might be able to help you. So if you want to see more how-to videos like this, or you want to learn ways that you can make money with the skills and tools you already have, the things that are inside your box, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along with my channel. Thanks everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video.